Second installment of Will Lily Eat Tonight? Tonight the answer is yes, with a combination of chicken broth and goat's milk over her food. Last night we got her to eat with chicken broth on it, but tonight she turned her nose up at chicken broth and food. So we put goat's milk over the chicken broth and food. And that seems to be working. Picky puppy. She's always been kind of finicky when it comes to her food, especially when her hormones fluctuate around her heat cycle. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially when her hormones fluctuate around her heat cycle. So I'm, I'm really not that surprised that her appetite's fluctuating. Plus it's completely normal for females about midway-ish to kind of lose the appetite and you gotta entice them. But she's eating. That's what matters. You can see top of her ribs. She's so big across her ribs. And I say that like she's some monster. She's not but she's just such a petite girl that she, she looks big already. And plus, I have to wonder how many puppies she's got tucked up in there. Because when that ultrasound machine, as soon as it went on her belly, it was bam, puppy. And I'm like, either that tech is really that good with finding puppies or... She got a lot of puppies in there. <laughs> and I mean, I'm kind of mixed on what I'm hoping for. I, I want plenty of puppies, certainly. I want healthy puppies. But I was kind of hoping for a smaller-ish litter this time around. Because, I mean, it's her maiden litter. So I was honestly hoping for a little bit of a smaller litter, like, you know, eight puppies. Uh, but we'll get what we get. And I won't throw a fit. Just give me at least one girl, Lily Bell. Give me at least one good, well-structured girl. Because yes, I'm going to keep me back a girl. Hopefully. That's what I plan to do. That's what I plan to do. Lily was actually almost kept back by her breeder. Because she was the runt of the litter and her breeder just has a, a soft spot for runts. Lots of people do, really. But uh, I picked her for her attitude because she's so feisty. I had second pick on her litter and I was between her and one other girl. And I held them both. I went, you know, I went and I went and looked at them and held them both, interacted with them both. And Lily was my pick. Lily the pink. I know she's got a purple collar, but her, her collar color as a puppy in her litter was actually pink. So it's kind of funny that I actually almost named her. What did I almost name you? There was two different names and they just flew out of my brain. Anyway, they were from Supernatural. Um, Crowley's mother and then I can't remember who the other one was, but they just did not fit. And I was listening to Irish folk music and as I pulled into the breeder's driveway, the song Lily the Pink was playing so as I'm sitting there looking at this little puppy who I've decided is the one trying to figure out which name fits her, I said, Lily the Pink. And that just fit. The other names just weren't quite right. And so she began the tradition of, my tradition anyway, of, of naming dogs after songs. Because she's Lily the Pink. Barrett is Barrett's privateer. Lacey, who I did get su successfully rehomed, is Chantilly Lace. 
And this new little one I've got coming up is Brown Eyed Girl. This new little girl that I'll be going to get in a couple weeks is Brown Eyed Girl. Call her Birdie. Is that good stuff? I did all up? Except for the kibbles in the floor that I tried to get her to eat earlier without the goat's milk. Oh, that's just stuff, huh? That's just stuff. The goat's milk, that did the trick, huh? So what is it gonna be alternating chicken broth in the morning, goat's milk at night? Is that what I'm gonna have to do? Cause you a bougie puppy? You bougie puppy? Are you bougie puppy? Yummy, yummy, yummy to her little bitty tummy. That ain't so little bitty in the middle. Look at that. Look at her. Good God, woman. You are thickums, McGee. Nipple development. That's kind of hard to tell. Oh, there we go. We'll look at that one. Oh, goodness. So ladylike. So ladylike. So ladylike. Oh, just good scratches. Two good scratches are on the butt. Now I'm going to get her all worked up. Okay, I'm going to stop before I get you all worked up and crazy after just eating. Wrong way. All right. She finished her dinner. We'll drink a drink a drink. To li oh, God. Lily the pink, the pink, the pink. The savior of the human race. Oh, got to hold it down. Got to hold it down. That goat's milk, man. Must be the trick, huh? Good God. Like, y'all don't get it. This girl's normally so petite. She has that tucked waist. She's just this petite little thing. Super athletic. And now look at her. She's a monster. You got a big old belly. You got a belly. Belly, 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 belly. Little red mama. Are you the little red mama? Oh, God. Are you the little red mama? Are you the little red mama of this house? You're so pretty. Yes, you are. All right. She wants to go out. I will talk to you later. Bye.